So then guys, in my opinion, 2018 has been a fantastic year for movies, with some of the best movies I've seen uh, released uh, this year. But um, today is going to be the day where I am ranking all the movies that I have seen of, uh, of this year, uh, from the worst to the best. Well, my top 10 at least. So, um, yeah, let's start off this video with number 10. So, my number 10 is Teen Titans Go to the Movies. Teen Titans Go, I was a little unsure of. I was aware that it was a thing. I knew it was a TV show, obviously. I know I know all about them. I only really know two um, of their names of the whole Teen Titans, and that's Robin and Cyborg, which is probably the most obvious. Uh, so I was really... Um, I was really unsure of how they were going to uh, uh, present this film, but it blew me away. It was like the Lego movie, because I was unsure. I didn't know what it was going to turn out like, but it blew me away. It was so funny. It had some of the most funniest moments in it ever, and the, I really liked the style and the animation, and the plot is something we've never seen before, and Teen Titans Go! is one of those unique movies, which... It's just a very good movie, uh, great for uh, families, very kid friendly, but also having some adult stuff in there as well. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, at number 10 is Teen Titans Go. So at number 9 I have Incredibles 2. Now coming into this movie I was a bit nervous uh, because the original... Um, uh, Incredibles is one of my favourite animated movies ever. I absolutely love it. It's stylish and action packed and it's just great. And so coming into this movie I was afraid that the sequel was gonna ruin the um original, but it proved me wrong. Come in like a wrecking ball hit me in the face. It was amazing. Now the animation in this movie is some of the best animation I've ever seen. Uh, the voiceovers uh, of everyone, pretty much everyone, uh, is great, and um, it's just amazing. So it's it's about um, capturing the screen slaver, which is a villain, and it's a whole mystery, it's a whole ch chase, basically this whole movie, but also add on to some babysitting, um, a babysitting story in, into it as well, and it's just amazing. Uh, I don't know how it would work with all these plot lines, you know, with uh, Violet and Tony and uh, Jack Jack with his powers and Frozone and everything. I don't know how they did it, but this movie is almost as good as the original. I think the first one's still better, but Incredibles 2 is very good and one that I will re-watch over Coming and over. at number 8 is Ant-Man and the Wasp. Now, the original Ant-Man is... Like I said in my actual original movie review, um, I like all of the MCU movies. I think they're spectacular. One of the best trilogies in modern history. And um, But Ant-Man, the original, I liked. It was very funny, uh, but it was one of the weakest for me uh, in the MCU franchise and probably one of the most forgettable. But um, I did like it. So uh, going into this movie, I really hoped... Uh, going into the cinema, I really hoped that this movie would restore my hope in Ant-Man and uh, to show me that Ant-Man is a good character. What I, I think he's a brilliant character. I think Paul Rudd is made for Ant-Man. But um, I really hope this one would be better than the first. And it is. It's, one, it's probably the most fun um, MCU movie uh, to date. Um... It's very, very funny, better than the original, uh, more funnier than the original as well. And Paul Rudd and Evangeline Lilly and Michael Douglas and pretty much everyone in this movie do a great job. It's very, very funny and um, it's very smart as well. Now, uh, I think, yeah, probably the most uh, best uh, point in this film is the CGI and the comedy. It's just very, very funny and it's got... Has some of the best CGI I've ever seen uh, in an MCU movie since Doctor Strange, and that has some of the best M uh, CGI I can think of, really. And so, um, Ant Man and the Wasp comes in at number eight. 
very funny, very fun, and very, very cool. So that brings us to number seven. seven. Is Ralph Breaks the Internet. I'm pretty sure I've said this like a hundred times in this video already, but I absolutely love the original um, Wreck-It Ralph. It's one of my favourite um, Disney films. And so going into this movie, I was very excited and it's lived up to the hype because the trailers blew me away. I thought they were very, very funny. And this movie was extremely funny, has some of the best um, comedy I've seen in a Disney movie. And um, I like to think of this movie, like I said in my original uh, Wreck-It Ralph um, review, I... Um, I think of this movie as an animated Ready Player One. There's so much Easter eggs and stuff, and it's very, it's very good. So, um, yeah, uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet um, uh, does a great job of capturing the voice uh, overs like uh, John C. Riley and um, new additions like Gal Gadot. I think they do an excellent job in this um, movie. And some good animation as well and some of the best sequences i've seen in a disney movie is some very good action uh sequences and uh that is why it comes in number, number six seven. is paddington 2. so then guys i wasn't too fussed uh about this movie i i watched the uh i enjoyed the uh, original paddington um movie I thought it was quite funny and uh, quite good, and uh, so I wasn't really uh, fussed over this uh, movie, but it surprised me. It really did. It's probably the most feel-good movie of this uh, of this year, and I know it's not really um, that well known compared to some other movies on this list, but um, yeah, this this movie is great. It's it's um. It's one, one of the most feel-good movies uh, that I've ever watched. Um, the CGI put into Paddington is good as well, uh, just like the original. And um, I think everyone does a good job. You know, um, Ben Whishaw, Sally Hawkins, they all do a good job in this film. And um, it's, got, it's very different to what I expected. Um, I don't really know what to say. It's very surprising. It will blow you away. I know a lot of you guys watching this now probably haven't seen this film, but watch it. It it's very good. It's very good, it, and it will surprise you. So that is why it makes it into number six. Is Black Panther. So uh, when I saw Captain America: Civil War, which is the first movie Black Panther was in, I was already hyped. Um, uh, of a Black Panther solo movie, and I um, I didn't even know there was there was a Black Panther solo movie at that time, so um, I like I really like Black Panther as a as a character, and um, the trailers were fantastic, um, it looked great, and it's very 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 good. It's one of my favorite MCU movies. Um, I've only had one flaw of this movie, and that is um. Some of the CGI can be a little off-putting at times, but um, it's barely noticeable, and I can just enjoy it, even if it did have horrible CGI, um, even if it had Bollywood, you know, stages of C uh, C CGI. I would still enjoy this film, because the main thing that I like about this movie is the message behind it, which is, you know, um, skin colour equal out equality because all the main pretty much the main um cast is full of black people and the message behind it is so important and uh, i really need you guys to appreciate it um just as just as much as i do so um yeah that is probably the main reason why black panther comes in at number five it's very good very funny very good action sequences especially the casino fight that's all in one take it's amazing. So yet yeah, that is why it comes in at number now, five. Number four is Deadpool two. This movie I was really excited to see because the original is very very funny. It's 
is so good and so surprising, especially for a low-budget bu movie, as it was, but still Hollywood. And it was very, very funny. One of the most funny movies I've ever seen. Probably the best action comedy I or really know of. And um, it's very, very good. And I was excited to see Deadpool 2. The trailers were amazing. And I was excited to see all of the new characters, like Domino, Russell, um, and uh, Cable. And let's just say, Josh Brolin has had a fantastic year this year. I mean, Avengers Infinite War, Deadpool 2, and Sicario 2. He's having a great year, I bet. And um, he does an ex excellent job in this movie as Cable, as a villain. Uh, I think it's probably one of my favourite parts of this movie, uh, Cable. And um, it has some of the best action sequences I know of a Marvel movie. Um, especially some of the scenes involving Domino, um, where she's using her luck as her power. And she's running through the streets and not a care in the world. You know, glow explosions around her, all everything. She doesn't care. And uh, that that's probably my favourite part of this uh, movie. Uh, it's very, very funny. Um, probably as good as the original, in my opinion. Oh, what are you doing? Lights <laughs> flashing in my room. Um, in in the lounge but yeah a Deadpool 2 very very funny almost as good as the original probably as good to be honest and yeah that is why it comes in it before I get into my top three let me know what your uh, top 10 is in the comment section uh, down below let me know if you disagree or uh, agree with my list but let's just keep this to a minimum level no swearing or anything because you know my channel is kid friendly but um yeah, so before we get into my top three, um, yeah, give me your opinions in the comment section Coming down in below. at third place is Mission Impossible Fallout. Let me just say before anything else, ruining Justice League with that CGI mouth was worth it. This film blew me away. I absolutely loved Rogue Nation and pretty much all of the Mission Impossibles before that. And I was super excited to see this uh, movie. And it did not disappoint. Some of the most intense scenes I've ever seen in an action film. Just <sighs> Tom Cruise. You can't get much better than that. I mean, climbing up helicopters, running across a rooftop, jumping from building to building. What can't he do? Uh, <laughs> But Mission Impossible Fallout's definitely the best out of the whole um, Mission Impossible franchise. Some of the most breathtaking uh, scenes in any movie at all. Uh, I got chills when uh, the um, screens, uh, while watching this film, uh, turned to IMAX when he was on that helicopter, doing that helicopter stunt and doing the halo jump. Tom Cruise is just insane, but in a good way. He's amazing. He's one of my favourite actors, and he does an extraordinary job in this film. Uh, even after breaking his ankle, he does... He, especially on the set of this film, he broke his ankle on the set, and he still looks like he ne nothing ever happened. But, I mean, Mission Impossible Fallout. One of the best action films of this decade so far. I cannot wait to see where this franchise Coming in goes. At number two was Ready Player One. Now going into this movie, I had not read the book, and I didn't really know what to expect. Really, I just went in the theater just expecting a film, a popcorn-worthy film, and it was much more than that because I did not know what to expect with this. But Steven Spielberg, I mean. Really, one of I don't really think any a single one of his films has truly been a flop. He's amazing. He's one of my favorite directors, if not the most talented director uh, that I know right now. And in this movie, I did not know that it was jam packed full of Easter eggs and all that, and I was blown away. I was practically screaming out what I what I knew of the Easter eggs in the cinema. And it was brilliant. Some amazing CGI, some amazing um, uh, battles, especially the final battle with everyone joining together, shooting everyone, you know, lasers everywhere. You, oh, it's great. It's amazing. All the Easter eggs is 
probably what makes this movie um, so high up on my list. And that is why it is at we number are, two. guys, the number one spot of my favourite movies of this year. And it is... Avengers Infinity War. This movie, I was expecting so much. I mean, the Russo brothers have directed two of my favourite um, MCU movies. And this movie has probably had the biggest fan base hype in any movie. And let's just say, I, pr I think everyone can agree with me that this movie did not disappoint. Has... I, I love the idea of bringing all the Earth's Mightiest Heroes on, well, galaxies, <laughs> um, mightiest, he mightiest Heroes, all together in one film, and it's brilliant. The CGI, it has everything that makes a movie, like drama, comedy, action, fantasy, adventure, everything into one, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Alan Silvestri with the um, soundtrack of this film is excellent. And probably the... I love it to bits. Uh, some great acting, especially from, you know, Chris Evans, uh, Paul Bettany, you know, Elizabeth Olsen. They all do a great job. And I cannot wait for Avengers Endgame. MCU is definitely my favourite trilogy at the moment and hopefully it will be for a long time and uh, yes yeah, so um, that is my top 10 uh, favourite movies of 2018 hope you guys enjoyed leave your um, leave your list in the comment section down below and uh, we'll see if we agree you know disagree never know obviously this is based off of my films that I've seen this year uh, so I haven't seen every single one, you know, like, there's, I'm sure there's loads that I haven't seen that are brilliant, that should be on this list, like, uh, I've heard Hereditary, that's good, and, uh, A Quiet Place, that's good, uh, I've heard, but these are my films of, are based on what, what I've seen, and, um, let's just say, <coughs> see, look at this, these are all the films I've seen this year, and I've been, um, writing them all down seeing um which ones are the best and uh there's my top 10 so uh thank you all for watching and see you guys later peace out